say your name. Hi, I'm Barb. Hey, okay. Um, and uh, how long ago did you actually start? Um, uh, yeah. You started in 1994. Yeah, start testing and okay. accessing. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Um, so that would be 14 years ago, pretty much. I'm an old timer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been on to this for about 14 years. And just give us a grocery list of the things that you cured right now. Uh, okay? Gosh, at that time I was accessing information. I, I, uh, I just use it for kind of knowing things and helping other people. And then I, once I had a herpes outbreak, that was also in nine, late 94, and when I got that, I was like, "Whoa! Well, how did that happen? It happened once, and then I kept <laughs> then I kept removing uh, the herpes virus, and I never got that again." Um, okay, you haven't had a herpes no. outbreak since 1994. No. Yeah, since 1994. I also had, um, well, when I was younger, in uh, college, I I had a uh, Epstein Barr, which was basically like they called it mononucleosis in those days, and I kind of had a chronic fatigue syndrome, I guess you'd say, in 97, 96, and that uh, I used uh, my accessing to clear that up too. I removed uh, the virus, number one, and I started using it to remove cravings. So that helped me. When, did you, when did you remove the Epstein-Barr virus? When uh, I think that was when I was with you in 97, 98. I got really more precise about, uh, you know, being, learning my 12 bodies and getting the, the Epstein-Barr virus out. I actually got my blood tested I guess it was three or four years ago because I was just curious to get my my blood type. I wanted to know my blood type and I wanted to check other things, and, and it didn't right. it didn't show up at all in my blood test. So it was really clinically clinically gone. So you got a negative you got a negative medical test. Yeah, negative medical and, and a herpes bar. and Epstein Barr, both of them gone. Mm -hmm. That would be two, that would be two thousand four. Right. <laughs> How are you guys? Are any of you guys feeling any different? Anyone feeling any different? Any changes? Yes. What are the changes? I, I have a relaxation in my chest. chest. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's good. I can breathe you. better for my nose. Yeah, and I can. Oh, and I'm also breathing a bit better than before. I don't have all the mucus in my throat. <laughs> good. Okay. okay, then. Okay, I'm lazy. Don't. Words are viral based. And, but I swear that as soon as I really put my mind to doing the immunix removal, that within without, a week they were without doing the other stuff. So you mean you went a year trying to get these warts off with all these methods? That's right, and they kept warting. spreading. I mean, it's like <laughs> and I then, put that stuff on. Then in a week you removed them and they were gone. That compound, whatever it is, it takes the skin off so that mm -hmm. the, the virus would spread into that <laughs> raw skin, skin and make new, you know. Oh my God. And I just, I thought, what am I going to do here, you know? So I, so I that's, just... So, they, so you actually took them out by removing them. And then you looked and they were gone. Yeah, I can't understand why. I, did, I tried it like half-heartedly with immunity like before that, but then I just didn't get the result. But then I just, I guess it's also So there's intention. a difference. There's, yeah, there's a difference between curing and curing, and they can look the same. Like you can, you can hold up your the, hand and yeah. you can get a signal and all this That's stuff right. that people think it is, and they're not curing it. That's right. You actually have to be curing the thing. It's like an for intention. For it to go. That's right. You have to yes. have an intention, and there's no other way to do it. So you know, you, that's you know. what this movie is. This is what I'm trying to say to people in this movie. What you just intuitively hit on. <laughs> um, and you said you have been doing some testing about. It. But what um, have you picked up anything specific? Why you've been reading and uh, absorbing? Main, mainly just reading. Not really, not other than just the basic for the immune system. That was basically all I've done. Does that mean the, the basic, you know how to remove something or no, not yet? Um, uh, yes, I do. I was, I was doing that. I've done that before with a sore throat and it got, I got rid of that within 15 minutes. Oh, that's great. So what have you been Okay. But how do you get there? <laughs> Here we go. Now, um, here, we're gonna, here's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, you're going to look for a signal coming through one of your hands. So you should let go of your hands and relax them. And just, um, you know, ask, ask this question, uh, can I cure things?
can I cure things? And look for a signal like a movement or a, a pulsing coming through one of your fingers. And see if you get anything like that. Something in my left hand. And what left is that? Left finger. It's okay. A pulsing. Very good. Very good. Uh, just, just do that again. It doesn't have to be like it was. To ask the question again. See if it comes again. Okay. Can I cure things? Yeah, it's a slight pulsing in this finger. Okay. Now ask, can I kill a virus? Can I kill a virus? and see if you get anything on that. Tell me if you do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what's that? What does that feel like? It's a pulsing also. Okay. But it's, it's now like I'm down here. Oh, I see. Oh, I, just, I saw that it's a behind the yeah. camera. I didn't catch it at first. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> nice. Did you feel any different just then when that happened? Like, what was that difference? Connecting to my body, kind of uh, mm -hmm. a relaxing feeling. Which is what everybody, everybody says they get that. Yeah. That's the same exact thing, except as you go on with this, it's going it's to have all kinds of different variations of the feeling. Now, this feeling, this good feeling yes. we're taught, we're experiencing, that's a signal you are now going to be trained, should you choose to accept your training, mm -hmm. your mission impossible, mm -hmm. should you choose to accept it, <laughs> will be <laughs> to follow a thread of signals okay. to and beyond a negative medical test. Okay. So you're going to get a negative medical test and, test, and then you're going to go past that. Okay, see this? This is how those people cured, you know, up at this point it's like 70 something thousand. The good feeling, the peaceful place, means you've removed your herpes or your cancer or something that was a cofactor, an ancillary cause, a contributing factor. So you get the finger movement, and that means that shortly thereafter, within seconds usually, you're going to get the good feeling. And the good feeling means the symptoms are going to disappear. See, the peaceful place means you're not going to have another herpes outbreak. You're, you're going to, uh, uh, you know, you're tumor is going to disappear from your cancer. You're, uh, you know, you're not going to go into the lupine state of lupus um, or the chronic fatigue or whatever. That's what the good feeling is. A signal is coming. And then when the symptoms disappear, after that, after they're gone for a while, that means you can go get another medical test and it's going to come out negative this time. And the negative medical test means, given that you continue looking for cofactors, ancillary causes, or just the disease still lurking in there, and you keep taking it out as you're going to be shown as we go on with this, um, <clears throat> I'm going to be shown how to do this, your HIV is going to test negative again and again and again, and finally you will be permanently free of it, which no doctor can test you for, but which is something you can know. Are you going to do that? 